Well, uh, what I'm seeing right now, John, there's a couple of vehicles look like they want to come out of AB, but they have their trunks open. Now, I'm not for sure if this is a civilian vehicle or if this is a detective's vehicle. Not sure at this point, but there's a white car that's just beyond, behind uh, this uh, unmarked vehicle, and that looks like it may be another detective vehicle, but the trunk is open as well. So it seems like they're making sure if anyone comes out of here, they're going to check your trunk, they're going to check your back seat, they're going to check everything before they let you out of the uh, ABB uh, facility. Julian, let me interrupt you. We've got yeah. a lot of information coming in. First of all, we have someone who claimed that they, are, they work there currently, saying that the shooter came in for his regular shift at 6.30 this morning and shot his supervisor. This person, who claims to be a current worker at ABB Inc., says that the suspect has worked there for 23 years, lives in St. Louis, and the suspect is an ex-supervisor. And this person saying that the ex-supervisor shot his supervisor. We also have someone who works there but did not go into work today on the phone with Russell Kinsall. Russell's talking to him right now. Yeah, we want to reiterate, this is unconfirmed information. These are phone calls coming into the newsroom of people who claim to be ABB power workers. We have not confirmed this with police. So that is what we're working to do right now, to get details of this suspect. Again, a former work, or a, a person who claims to be a worker says this was an employee of ABB Power who is the suspect. We are trying to confirm that with police. What we have confirmed, once again, this is the confirmed information. We know three people were shot at the ABB Inc. power plant or power company there. Uh, the suspect has not been caught. You see, uh, now we're seeing some, they look like SWAT team members. I'm not for sure if they are, but they've got their protective helmets on. And this is the first time we've been seeing live pictures of officers geared like that. We have seen officers with their assault rifles drawn. We've seen an officer with a gun drawn uh, taking cover behind his car. We haven't heard any more reports of shots fired since the initial call of this shooting, which was uh, well over probably two hours ago. But again, three people were shot. The gunman has not been captured. And this current worker, again, just called, this person who claims to be a current worker, saying the shooter came into work today at 6.30 this morning for his regular shift and shot his supervisor in the head. And that this person, who has worked there for 23 years, shot an ex, or he was an ex-supervisor. And we want to go back to Julian Grace, who's on the scene. Julian, we're starting to see some more police activity uh, right now. What are you seeing? Well, yeah, you know, uh, John, at this point, they're still meeting at this area, but they're talking a little bit more. And something that was interesting, a uh, squad car came up, I want to say, about two minutes ago, and they checked the squad car's uh, trunk as well. So, I, uh, you know, I, I stated this earlier that I really believe they're just trying to contain this area. They don't want anyone to get out. You have officers that are walking up and down uh, uh, the street here with assault rifles, making sure they secure the perimeter as well. I told you I heard a couple of canines, but I haven't seen the canines. I, could, I can hear them, but they haven't set the canines out. Now, as you look at these squad cars, you see about there's about 30 squad cars here or so that I'm looking at directly. I haven't seen an officer in any one of those squad cars but one. So I believe they are staging somewhere. I don't know if there's a, a warehouse. There. It looks like there's a warehouse structure just beyond uh, the squad cars. I don't know if they're in that area. I don't know exactly where they're at. But right here in the center area, there, there's, there's not a, a, a lot of uh, activity going on. But you know what? Here comes a uh, unmarked detective car, looks like, with a sirens on. So I'm not for sure exactly where he's heading either. So. And, Julian, we want to point out, of course, you see the, the, the heavy snowfall in the area, certainly right. not making the job any easier for police. The police have been busy this morning with accidents and, and uh, dealing with other issues across the St. Louis area. Now, obviously, their main attention is focused right here at the ABB power plant. We want to reiterate again, this is ABB, Inc. This is off I-70 near Bircher in North St. Louis. Right. We're, right. we're it, so used to saying AB all the time around here. We don't want you to think that this is Anheuser-Busch or AB InBev. This is not. This is a manufacturing company that makes transformers, and it's off of I-70 between Kings Highway and Florissant Avenue on Simple. And that's where Julian Grace is. He's actually across the interstate. That's why you can see that big building um, 
from where he is because he is yeah. way far back from the scene, right? Yeah, yeah, that is correct, Virginia. I'm glad you pointed that out. We're directly across the street, and 70 is right in the middle of us. But what is interesting, you know, we saw that detective that drove by about a minute or so ago. It makes me kind of wonder if they're circling this area as well, looking for anything that may be suspicious. I'm not really for sure, but that was the first time since we've been out here that we've actually seen a detective uh, car or a police or squad car with their sirens on in this area. And mind you, we have 70 that's dividing us. So it makes you wonder what's going on in this area as well. And Julian, we're hearing that the businesses surrounding ABV Power are also on lockdown right now. And uh, obviously, police are not sure where the suspect is. At least they've, their last word to us is that they're not sure where the suspect is. They believe he could still be inside this building. And I say he, but we haven't confirmed that either. We don't know if the suspect is a man or a woman. Uh, uh, ABB Power Worker has called us saying it was a man. We're working to confirm that with police. Again, want to go over the information we have confirmed, and that is that three people were shot at the ABB Power Plant. We don't have any update on their condition right now. We do know from our News 4 photographer who saw someone being carried away by two firefighters with some sort of a leg injury. We don't know if that person was shot. We do know three people were shot. The suspect is still, quote unquote, on the loose. That's the term we use when we're talking about police still looking for this suspect. And again, Russell Kinsall is the person who broke this story for us. He's been in our newsroom. He's been the one calling police, confirming this information. He is right now talking to someone who claims to be a current worker there who did not go to work today. And he is talking to Russell. We'll find out what he told him in just a bit. But also, we received a call from a person claiming to also be a current worker, saying that the shooter came in for his regular shifts today at 6.30 this morning and that the shooter shot his supervisor. And this worker says that the suspect has worked there for 23 years and says the suspect is from St. Louis and used to be a supervisor there. But again, this is coming from someone who called into the newsroom claiming to be a current worker there. And if you have family or friends at the power plant, the ABB Inc. power plant, our latest word is that the building is on lockdown that uh, there's nobody going in or out of that building as far as employees. Our crews on the scene have not seen any employees being ushered out. So again, our word is that the employees there inside the plant are on lockdown. And what police have told us is they believe that the gunman is also inside that plant still. To this point, we've confirmed three people have been shot. And we do know that uh, a lot of the other area there in North St. Louis near I-70 and Bircher uh, that a lot of the other area is also on lockdown.